Hey babes, what's up? Welcome back. I hope you all are doing really well. So this video is a Lululemon haul. I've had so many Lululemon hauls sprinkled into my vlogs these past couple of weeks. So okay, a few things. One, go give those a watch if you haven't already. All of the Lululemon pieces that I shared in my vlogs were brand new releases that launched like pretty much within that week. And I shared it with you guys as soon as they arrived. So everything is just super fresh, fresh from the launch dates. And two, let me know if you guys are liking that I'm incorporating my hauls into to vlogs. I personally just love that. And three, I felt like this one just deserved its own dedicated video. It is showcasing the neutral colors drop and are you kidding me? I feel like this launch was just made for me and I've been waiting for a release like this for so long. Forget about the colors, give me all of the neutrals, a rainbow of neutrals if you will, please and thank you, just like Skims. So I'm really excited to dive on into this. If you guys want to see everything that I picked up, my thoughts and what it all looks like on, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost, we're gonna dive right in to sports bras. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited for these. So first one up, I got the In Alignment Straight Strap Sports Bra in a size four, that's my go-to size in this. But you guys know that this sports bra is just hands down one of my top favorite sports bras from Lululemon. And I am just so in love with these colors. They introduced so many neutrals like Java and Misty Shell that I have right here, but also Twilight Rose, Pale Linen, contour just really all the neutrals under the sun which is so great to see finally they also came out with French press as well which was one that I was very surprised came back this is a colorway that they had last year and I thought for sure it was discontinued which I was really excited to see and of course needed to pick it up because when I got my French press leggings last year I just never got anything to match it so saw the opportunity and of course course had to snatch it. The silhouette of these is perfection and so minimal yet offers the best fit for C and D cups. I love that it's a sports bra yet it has a clasp in the back for an easy on and off. It just makes taking this off after a sweaty workout just so easy and stress-free. That's definitely why it's one of my favorites. The fabric is so soft and it has removable padding in it, which is nice. I kept the padding in it for the try-on. The straps are adjustable as well. So let me give you a close-up of each of the colors. Of course, I'll try them all on, but this is what Java looks like. Here's Misty Shell. Misty Shell is really close to my skin tone. So I feel like this one looks more like a regular bra than a sports bra, at least on me with my skin tone. So this color I'm not like absolutely obsessed with as much as I am with like the deeper colors, but it's definitely a good color. It would look amazing on those with darker skin tones than me. And then the last one is French Press. So let me show you a little side-by-side -side comparison of Java and French Press so that you can see here. French Press is definitely a lot deeper of a color. For some reason, I was expecting this to be pretty close based off of how it looked online, like how Java looked online. I thought Java was gonna be a lot deeper than this. I'm not mad about it at all, but I just figured I would show you guys the difference here. It's a clear difference between Java and French Press. The next sports bra up I got is the Energy Bra in the Con contour color also in a size four. So okay, energy bras are just a classic and an OG sports bra style from Lululemon. Fun fact, this is the first ever sports bra that I picked up from Lululemon and has just remained an absolute staple for me. This is really supportive for those with larger cup sizes and is really flattering. It's really hard to find really cute yet minimal sports bras that still support larger cup sizes. And I, yeah, I just feel like this is one of the first ones to achieve that and it's just so good, you guys. The energy bra will definitely get you through any sort of active, super sweaty, workout that's for dang sure and let's talk about this color this is the contour color it is pretty close to my just natural skin tone however I know that I would absolutely love this once I had a little bit of a tan so I might just hold on to it and wear it once I have a tan or I might just end up returning it since I'm only tan a few months out of the year. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on it, but love this one. I might end up just exchanging this for maybe one of the other neutral colors that's a little bit deeper than this. <laughs> Moving on into a few tank tops. The first one I wanted to share is one that has a built-in bra in it, and this one is the Strappy Nulu tank. Okay, wow. I was hoping that this one was going to work out and I'm so happy it does. I was nervous that the sides on this right here were gonna like poke out and not sit flat, but I'm so 
so glad that it lays flat. Because this tank top is made for those with A and B cups similar to the Align tank, I wasn't necessarily sure what size I was going to be in this. So my gut told me to order it in two different sizes and I'm really glad that I did that. So I ordered it in my typical true to size size, which is a size two. But then I also ordered it in my line tank size, which is a size four. I always size up in it because again, it is made for those with A and B cups and I am a D cup. And I gotta say a size two in this is the winner. I think because this has a straight neckline versus the line tank, how it V's, that I didn't need to order a size up. I actually feel like this has really good coverage and is really supportive on. So I actually recommend that you don't size up in this. Just go to with your true to size size in this. I also feel like this is like a hair longer than the line tanks, but dang, this, this is a new favorite of mine. And did you see the back on this too? This little strappy detail, the very straight cut back too. Oh, this is so flattering. I'm yeah, I'm just beyond obsessed with it. If you guys were curious about this and you had your eye on it, definitely worth it. Definitely pick it up. I love this one. The next tank top that I picked up is the sculpt crop tank top. This one offers a truly classic semi cropped fit. I absolutely love where this hits on. This is probably one of the best all around training, running, overall active type of tank tops. The fabric is pretty sleek. It's sweat wicking. It has like this mesh detail in the back. Then it also has like these reflective details in the front too. I ended up sizing down in this to a size zero. That's typically what I do with tank tops. I just like it to fit a little bit more fitted versus a little bit bigger and boxy, I guess. This is also in the color Artifact, which is a deeper brown. Actually, we can compare it to the other browns I have. So this is how Artifact compares to Java in the center and then French press on the side. Moving on in to sweatshirts and a bomber jacket that I got into, so like outerwear sweatshirt sort of section. I ended up picking up the Loungeful Cropped Hoodie. This is a brand new collection that they just launched. I know that they have like a regular full length hoodie. They have a crew neck, I think. And then they also have cropped sweatpants. I've been waiting for them to come out with like the sweatpants in full length. So I'm hoping that that comes out soon. But I just got one piece to try out the collection first and foremost. Most. So here is the cropped hoodie and you guys I think that this is probably no exaggeration the best fitting Lululemon hoodie that I've tried in a while <laughs> It feels like it encompasses the best of the scuba half zip and also the all yours hoodie in my opinion And this is what I wish the scuba hoodies look like on me Thank you Lululemon for coming out with this style in a size zero versus those combined sizes of an extra small, small, finally, actual sizes. <laughs> so on this one, the overall shape and then the back of this looks just like the scuba half zips. I love the shape and the silhouette of the scuba half zip. So I love that they kept this sort of detail in this version. I would say that this one is a tad lighter weight than the scuba half zips. And it also has a slightly different texture to it. This one is of course super soft and fleecy in the inside, but the outside of it doesn't have like that suede-like material that the scuba hoodies have, if that makes sense. So in that regard, I feel like this reminds me of the all yours hoodie. Really fun style. I got it in gray, cause you guys know I love gray. There's a couple more colors that it comes in and I love the slight crop to it. I feel like it's still long enough to wear with high-waisted items where your stomach isn't gonna show either. So really good item. Next up is the insulated bomber jacket. So, okay, I have already been wearing this one a ton and I've shown it in like a few outfits as well, but I've never actually shown it in a haul video. So I figured now is as good as time as any to finally share it. And you guys, this is probably hands down my favorite jacket that I've ever purchased from Lululemon, which is wild to say because I'm not really in love with bomber style jackets. I don't know why, but this jacket has completely suaded me otherwise. It's become my favorite go-to all-purpose jacket, especially especially for this awkward in-between weather that we're currently having. It's oversized without being too oversized. And I love all the details and uniqueness to this as well. It has zipped exterior pockets. It has hidden interior pockets. There's slits on the sides of this jacket. And then there's a vest that can be taken off and worn separately too. It's just really cool. This already went to the we made too much section. So definitely go get it now while it's on sale. And then Oh, also during the try on, I ended up pairing this with the white energy bra and then also my black Align six inch bike shorts too. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we're moving into leggings. And you guys, I got the Align leggings in 
three colors and I know that you all know Align Pants by now so I'm not gonna go in depth talking about how Align Pants fit because you guys all know if you watch my stuff you know so I'm just gonna focus on talking about the colors in this haul the only details that I should mention is that I did get these all in a size 2 that is my true to size go-to size for Align Pants and all three of these are also in the 25 inch inseam which is pretty much ankle length full length ankle length on me for being 5'1 Okay, so the colors. The first one up is Java. The middle one here is Dusty Clay. And then this lighter color one is Contour. So just speaking about Java first, so obsessed with this color. One of the best colors that Lululemon has released. I love the way that this tone of brown looks on me. So flattering, such a great medium brown. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. I feel like it's just kind of right there in the middle. And then just one more time, I'm gonna compare it to French Press. I have the leggings right here. I know I showed it in the in alignment sports bra, but I just want to show it in the leggings as well. So right here is Java and right here is French Press. French Press is a unique color because it definitely is like a deep brown, but sometimes, sometimes, I feel like there's like a slight hint of purple in it, but it's still very much like a dark, very dark brown color, some black in it maybe too. But this Java color is a lot lighter, a lot lighter than, like I said earlier, looks like on line very medium tone maybe a little bit lighter than medium tone somewhere in there both beautiful beautiful colors however contour I've already spoken about the fact that I feel like it's a little too close to my skin tone color so I don't know if it's my favorite color on me personally kind of looks like I'm a bit naked <laughs> but it's super gorgeous color in itself. Very neutral color again. It doesn't come off yellow or anything like that. Like I imagine pale linen to come off. And then the last one is Dusty Clay, which I feel like that name is really on point for this legging. It kind of does look like a clay sort of color. I feel like this one is a little bit more on the cool tone side though. Super, super gorgeous. So a very unique thing that I figured I would mention with these two colors is that they are double lines. That was kind of a disappointment to see and also a surprise to see. It's not something I was expecting for these two colors. I know that some people like it and some people don't. Personally, I don't mind it. It's not my preference, but it does add like an extra layer. So it's really nice for like those cooler months because it offers a little bit more warmth to the leggings. I guess I can kind of see why they did it for the contour color now thinking about it because it is a lighter tone but it feels like the dusty clay could have gone without it it seems like a deep enough color that it didn't need to be a double line but anyways very interesting decisions that lululemon made for these two colors but figured i would mention because i didn't know <laughs> that these two colors are double lines and then of course java is just the standard align pants it's single lined it's the normal fit that you like to see in align pants all right you guys that is it that is everything i wanted to share with you guys this was so much fun i really hope that you guys enjoyed it as i always do everything that i talked about will be linked down in the description the name of the item the size i got the color and of course the link as well my size measurements are down there for you as well anything that i'm wearing right now i'll make sure i'm linking for you guys too but if you have any questions just let me know before you go please make sure that you are subscribed and that you are following me over on instagram i'm chris renee i also just started posting outfit of the days to tiktok so go give me a follow over on tiktok as well i hope you guys have a great rest of your day a great week and i will see you in a couple of days in my next video bye guys love you guys so much Mwah.